Hi Cheeksters, hi YouTube, it's Chi Chi again from Supple Chic and today's video is going to be a Pretty Little Things haul. So I took a poll on Instagram and most people voted for the dress haul, the summer dress haul, which is already live so I'll have that linked. Um, but a group of you still wanted me to do a Pretty Little Things haul so I am going to get right into it. Now before I do that though, um, this is my first time ordering from Pretty Little Things so I decided to sort of have a little bit of restraint also my bank account decided for me too that I needed to have some restraint so I didn't buy too much and I'm kind of glad that I didn't and you will see why so if you want to see the pieces that I picked out from Pretty Little Things then keep on watching okay guys so here is the bag from Pretty Little Things. It has unicorns on it, really cute. Um, and I guess I'm just going to start from the bottom. The first item I picked up for a video that I was, I'm currently working on and it is this gorgeous wrap skirt. It has like a split, a wrap, not wrap, but it has like this faux knot detail in the middle and then it I guess it is a wrap because it has a split that opens up kind of like a wrap um I got this in a US 18 I probably could have gotten it in a US 16 it does run a little big for me especially around the waist um also I got this because on the site it is listed as mustard I believe but it says plus mustard not front midi skirt this is not a mustard this is more of like a melon color so more on the orangey yellow side than like the yellow mustardy side if that makes any sense and actually one of my favorite nail colors um is this orangey color however it's not mustard which is what i was looking for of the knot detail if you have a tummy and you're wary of bodycon skirts that knot detail will help disguise somewhat i do wish that the knot detail was a little bit higher though the next item was a complete fail and i'm trying to be positive about this haul so let me just try and be positive and it is this pair of joggers which i got in a us 2x i believe it's us 20 right mm -hmm. i got this in the us 20 this jogger is humongous on me like you could probably fit my son in these joggers with me okay they are like a camel print and they cuff around the ankle and one thing i did notice on this site is that they had a lot of like sweatshirt jog joggers sort of like that athleisure look they had it nailed in the plus section so if you love that instagram baddie so, um you know t-shirt biker shorts dad sneaker look then you'll really love the site because they have a good selection and I would definitely say that if something looks oversized on the model, it's definitely oversized. So I got this in a US 20. I don't know what I was smoking. Really, I need a 16 in this. Um, quality wise, I would give it... Uh, again, most of these items are like under 30 on the site. So it's not that expensive. So you're really getting what you pay for. So I'm not going to knock it. I'm just going to say that this was huge. And I obviously did not know my size. I thought the sizing on the site was more like a boohoo type of sizing, which tends to run small, which is more of like a, um, what you call it? Which is more of like a uh, juniors plus. No, I don't think this is a juniors plus per se. I think this is more like ASO sizing, you know, so that's the vibe I get from Pretty Little Things. And again, my size, my measurement, all of that good stuff, even my height is in the description bar below. I believe you have to click show more and yeah, you'll get all that information. So the next item is going to be this dress is supposed to be like a tuxedo style dress. It has shawl, a shawl lapel. It's double breasted all the way down. It's made of a lightweight black fabric. So don't be afraid because I know it's summer and it gets hot. This is pretty lightweight. I also got this in a size 20 because again, 
because of my hips and because I thought the sizing was similar to Boohoo, I decided to size up and that was a big mistake. I would definitely say I probably could get this in a 16 almost, but I'm only wary about my hips. Definitely an 18 would fit. So yeah, it just, it didn't. It was, I was, I was swimming in this. It didn't fit. And these, I, I believe everything on, on the site again is under 30 or everything that I picked out was under 30. So for what you're paying for, this is pretty decent. The next item, and probably the only item I'll keep, even though I'm not even sure I'm going to keep this, is going to be these pants. This is a paper bag style cigarette or skinny pant. Um, it comes with this belt that you're supposed to tie. It has some ruffling, again, to give you that paper bag effect. I've seen quite a few paper bagged pieces in my day, and I have to say, the I'm extremely disappointed with these pants, okay? Now, if you're a hippie girl, you will probably love these pants because they're basically made out of fabric that's similar to, to the leggings. Like, this is just like one step away from leggings. And that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for a pant that had a little bit more structure to it, um, but still stretchy. And I was looking for the paper bag to area like this ruffling area to be sewn on just a little bit better and as I'm looking at this I can see the camera clearly fit wise it's probably the only thing that fit me properly in this whole entire haul um, and it is this size 20 yeah because it's a 24 it's a US size 20 um, and that's what I'm saying, like all the other size 20 things were big for me and this one fits me, like I think if I got an 18 it would have been tight, which is not what I wanted. So I just, I'm really, I don't know about Pretty Little Thing y'all, I be seeing all these hauls, but I don't know, I just don't know, okay. I will give them that their, their pricing is affordable and their quality is pretty uniform across the board from what everything I've tried on, um, but still. And I saved the worst for last for you guys. The worst, okay? The worst for last, okay? I have been on the hunt, like searching frantically for a white one-piece bathing suit. Now, I am a woman who is, I guess, I'm not old, um, even though, you know, the gener Generation Xers would say I'm old. Um, but I am a woman who was a little bit, I don't want to say advanced in years, but I'm not a spring chicken, okay? Let's put it that way. And so I need some certain things in my swimsuits. I need some support and I need some underwire to keep my girls looking nice. Because the only person that needs to know the status of my boobies, like what they really look like without support, is the person I'm sharing my bed with. Everybody else don't need to know that. Okay, in everybody else's mind, my boobies are up and lifted. All right. Anyways, let's get into this swimsuit. So I got this swimsuit. This swimsuit is such a joke. I got this swimsuit in a in a 24, which is a US 20. Okay, um, it is supposed to be a V-neck swimsuit. This is made out of pretty similar fabric to like a bodycon. It's a halter neck style. You're supposed to tie it. It's supposed to fit behind your neck like so. All right. It has a really, really deep back. I don't know why they would make a swimsuit with this deep of a back for a plus size girl. Like, I don't know. Because we all have back rolls. We know it. And the thing that tripped me out the most about this swimsuit, this is the inside of the swimsuit. This is the outside of the swimsuit. Can, can you guess what's wrong with it? Inside, outside. There is not a stitch, okay, of support in this swimsuit anywhere. Like I always get annoyed with like the swimsuits from like Rose Gal or all those places, but even those swimsuits have the little cup thing and they have the little fake sports bra fabric, something to hold your girls. This has absolutely anything. So unless you have Pamela Anderson boobies, this is not the swimsuit for you, honey. Besides the fact that it was huge on me, huge. 
Okay, I probably needed this in like a 14 or something. It was huge. And then it's cut really high as well. So, can you guys see how much I detest this swimsuit? By the way, I am going to do a do this, not that for swimsuits. You guys love the one I did on shapewear, so that's coming up next. But this, maybe I should keep this just for that video. Guys, that is it for my Pretty Little Things haul. As you guys can see, it was an absolute joke. Will I shop there again? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Now that I know what my sizing is like, and I did go on the site, I did see quite a few cute things because we just did a Pretty Little Things um, sort of like pics. I have a blog for those of you who do not know if this is your first time seeing my face. Um, my name is Chi Chi <laughs> and I do have this YouTube channel and I do have a blog and we did do a um, a curated shop on Pretty Little Things. So uh, our summer ready pics under 30 from Pretty Little Things. They do have quite a few pieces that look good so I may give them a try. I saw some mustard pieces that I really liked and a few other things and now that I have a sense of what the store does well and what it doesn't, I also know what I'm looking for when I shop there. So I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give them an E or an F just yet. I'm gonna give them kind of like a C minus and I will try one more time again to see shop again to see if you know my if my my opinions change um definitely if you want that instagram baddie look if you want that whole oversized t-shirt biker short that kind of look track suit athleisure i think they're great as you can see i didn't pick any of those things because that's not my general style definitely for my generation xers even for my millennials um but yeah those are my thoughts that's my thoughts on pretty little things if you like this video definitely thumbs it up um and share this video with a friend if you liked it it really means a lot to us um don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed I'm not going anywhere guys I know don't worry I will be in the comments down below so come down there come and meet me